Hi everyone, uh, today I'm planning to make tamarind chutney. Normally I make that in bulk, so uh, it's been like four months when I made it last time. So I just ran out of it and I plan to make it today and I thought I share the recipe with you all. So for my tamarind chutney, I took 250 grams of tamarind. I soaked that in boiled water. Then I have taken some black salt. I'm gonna use some white salt, normal salt as well. Then this is roasted cumin powder, some jaggery, gur, red chili powder. This is sugar. So um, I'll start making it. So what, what I'm gonna do, I will squeeze it and take the pulp out of it. And I'll use the strainer for this one. I'm gonna use this strainer. And then I will leave it for boiling around on slow flame for about say 20 minutes and then add all the spices sugar everything and then leave it for another 10 minutes and pretty much that's all we need to do so let's start So I'm gonna squeeze it really nicely. Aise achhe se isko squeeze karna hai so that we can take all the pulp out. Excuse me for the mess. <laughs> Actually, I have got some guests coming over tomorrow, so I'm doing a little bit preparation today, and I'll do some tomorrow morning. So I thought let's make the chutney today. It's, it's a little bit time consuming process. So I thought I will make the chutney today. And I already prepared my gulab jamuls. Now as you can see that I have squeezed all the pulp out, I'll put it back in the pot and leave it for simmer for about 20 minutes. The pulp out of the tamarind. Now I'm gonna put this in my pan again. like that put it on medium flame for about 20 minutes and at this stage I will add good just straight in there and that's it cover the lid and leave it for simmer around 20 minutes. Hi everyone. Today, um, like I already told you that some guests are coming over to my place tomorrow. So my menu for them is, they're coming for tea, like evening tea. So the menu is um, I'm gonna make here. Yeah. I'm gonna make uh, bhalle papri. Then I have bread pakora with some potatoes and uh, paneer stuffing in it. 
then I'm planning to make Manchurian and in dessert I'm making gulab jamun with um, rabri so that's the menu and for kids I'm doing potato wedges and some um, mini pizzas so I prepared my uh, dough at home and I will do the mini pizzas so that's the menu that's why I have to start preparation today because it will be very hard for me if I don't prepare today and then I have to do everything tomorrow so it will be very very hard for me just making um, roti because uh, it's nice it was very hot during the day but now it's a nice weather so we thought that we gonna make um, tarka dal and I made some uh, matar aloo ki sabji and we're gonna make roti like missy roti outside on the barbecue the, that what we do in camping as well uh, so uh, yeah so that's what we're gonna do tonight outside uh, I'll quickly show you what I have already prepared I will show you what um, what other things I have already prepared as you can see that tamarind chutney is getting ready in here and I have already prepared my bhalle I'll share the recipe if you like next time when I do it so I've already made it I will, tomorrow I only have to dip it in yogurt and like just make it ready and serve then now you might laugh at me for this one but um, for gulab jamuns I I made my gulab jamun in this big container because um, I had to prepare like um, uh, 50 gulab jamuns and for that you really need like big container otherwise it's it gets very hard um, they don't absorb the syrup nicely so um, this this is the biggest one I have whenever I have a big party at home so uh, uh, we prepare our dishes we like to do cooking at home as I mentioned you before most of the things we prepare at home and so that that's the time when I bought it uh, like for chole biryani or like of that any dish so you might laugh at me but it, oh my god it's really heavy so that's my maybe you all can see maybe I'll this is how the gulab jamuns are looking and I have to prepare rubbery with them so with this big uh, bowl it's easy uh, like when they are loose they are not too tight and they absorb the syrup very nicely so now I'm going to add sugar in it it's been like 20 minutes that it's simmering and it's more flame, so I added sugar in tamarind chutney you need to add lots and lots of sugar I'm gonna add cumin powder Light salt okay. and red chili powder it really well so to avoid any lumps I'll use my whisk so that there are no lumps in it ten minutes on slow flame So this is the final look of uh, chutney now I um, put it in different containers and I've already frozen uh, the rest of the chutney this is the one I'm gonna use all week or it stays all right in the fridge for um, like two three months nothing gonna happen to it so I will leave it in my fridge uh, if we need it with anything with pakoras or something so um, when I freeze the other containers so if you like the recipe it's really simple easy and quick if you um, like my recipe please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and if you have tried it like if whenever you try it 
um, and please let me know in the comment section if there is um, any problem or you find that it's some you know, some uh, problem is coming up I can maybe I can help you with some other um, alternatives so um, and if it comes really good please I would be very happy to know so please um, see my another video soon bye